everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is yet another empties video. I'm gonna start this video off by showing you my shirt. It's this cute clueless shirt I got off Amazon. I'll try to link it. My lip color is Lawless Beauty's Alex liquid lipstick with Dose of Colors the most lip gloss on top. Now that I have those two things out of the way, oh, one more thing. Uh, I got nail polish all over my hand, so just ignore that. I'm gonna get started with this empties. It's a really big one. Every time I do an empties, I feel like it's the biggest one that I've done until the next time. So I go through a lot of stuff. I'm gonna start with candles. That's what I always start with. And that really does take up the most space. So I think that's part of why my bag gets um, so full so quick. Most of my candles are from Bath & Body Works, but not all of them. Here we have one called Pineapple Crumb Cake, Golden Pineapple Buttery Cake, Sugar Streusel, and Crumb Topping really yummy really sweet definitely smells like an actual like pineapple bakery treat so i do recommend that this one is called white peach and it had juicy peaches dew covered leaves and a hint of vanilla it smells a lot like the, their georgia peach candle but i i like both of those any peach candle if you like peaches i think you'll like it this one is called Mineral Springs. I thought it was kind of fun packaging and it had soothing mineral water, night blooming lily, and a dash of lime. It was good, it was just like fresh and clean, nothing to write home about. This is one that I definitely picked up for the packaging, although it does smell good as well. It's called Fiji White Sands, fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. It's good, but again, I bought it because of the packaging, mostly. This guy is fun, it's called French Baguette. Uh, slow rising dough, crispy crust, and that's it. So it literally smells like fresh baked bread. It's kind of crazy. It's not necessarily how you would like want your house to smell, but also like why not, you know? It's like you wouldn't think to have a candle like this, but it was great in the kitchen. Like I really loved it. I actually have a backup of this, luckily. And then this guy was one they brought out last summer and I have a backup, but I really loved this and I really like wish I had more than one backup. So it's called Cannoli and Chocolate and it's like Italy because they had like a travel collection with different cities. Okay, it helps that I now have a dog named Cannoli, like bless his heart, I'm that much more attached to cannolis. But this smells so good and it burns so well. Fresh made cannoli, dusting of sugar and sweet milk chocolate. It's really hard to explain and it's really unique. It literally smells like chocolate and powder and like, but it's just good. If you ever see this, like pick it up. Here's a few more random candles. What is this one? Oh, this is from Henry Bendel. Rest in peace, this went out of business. Um, and it's the vanilla bean candle. I don't know if they'll still sell these like through a third party or what because I feel like these candles I don't know maybe they really are just gone but um, it is the same parent company as Bath and Body Works and Bath and Body Works also does a vanilla bean candle this was a delicious vanilla bean candle it was single wick so the throw is not like amazing but really pretty frosted glass really nice then I had a couple of like crackly wick candles this one is from Target the hearth and hand line orange amber so I adore this smell. It's really just kind of interesting. It's fresh, it's citrusy, and then it has that hint of amber. For whatever reason, I have a strong scent memory with this to my childhood, like hometown mall. I don't know why, but it just smells like my mall. Now, the problem for me is that I burned this in the bathroom, which is small, and the scent throw was like pretty much not there. So because of that, I probably would not repurchase, but it was nice to smell while I had it, and I love those crackle wicks. Same kind of deal with this one. This one's by Colin Canary, and this is in the scent Liquid Liner in Late Night Diner, which really is just strawberry, vanilla, and cream. The packaging is pretty whatever. Um, it smells good, that strawberry cream scent with the fun crackle wick. But again, I burned this in the bathroom, and the thrill was kind of non-existent so I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase these but they were fun my gosh I have a lot of candles this is from oh gosh I have ash all over me this is from Target it's one of the signature soy candles it's wild sage I really like these candles they're affordable and stuff um the problem with two wicks though is it can make it hard for them to like burn down but it put off a really nice scent and yeah I definitely recommend the Target candles and then I had some wax melts so this is from Bath and oh my gosh I've gotten so much ash all over my hands Lord have mercy. Um, oh well, this is from Bath and Body Works. It's the scent Japanese Cherry Blossom. This is like a classic scent. Kind of like specific, like you kind of really do have to like this. 
some people might describe it as like old lady-ish but I think it's nostalgic and kind of nice I don't know I, I really like it it was good for like spring and then this is one by the brand Scentsy and this is in the scent Berry of Paradise this one Scentsy like these are actually really good they're really potent and they last a long time like just with one or two cubes you can go like a few days without changing it or some of them of the scent things I've tried you have to change it more often but this is just like a a sweet berry kind of powdery scent I mean nothing like amazing but it was good holy hand soap watermelon lemonade they always have that one cucumber melon oldie but a goodie these are all the Bath and Body Works gentle foaming hand soaps it's my favorite kind of hand soap this one was called champagne toast it was a shimmer luxe hand soap I uh, loved the way this looked in the bottle it was like kind of shimmery but it did make it a little hard for it to pump out of the pump this is Japanese cherry blossom that same classic scent sparkling icicles that was one I used in my classroom actually so that's why it's like wintery. I had it in there for a while. Fresh water and aloe. I just used this up. I thought the packaging was really pretty. It went along with that other candle, like the same collection. And then actually my favorite one out of the bunch was this guy, Vetiver from this test lab. It had cardamom, suede, and bergamot. They don't have this one anymore. Most of those scents, I mean, Bath and Body does so many like little limited seasonal scents, but then a fair amount of those were ones that they always have, like the Japanese cherry blossom, watermelon lemonade, cucumber melon. Whether or not they always have them, they'll like always eventually put it back out during a certain season. So I love those hand soaps. They're so much fun. I'm going to move into a little bit of body care. A couple of deodorants to talk about. First, we have the Schmitz Natural Healthy Deodorant in Rose and Vanilla. I feel like, yeah, I've talked about another Schmitz on my channel before. I like these, but the thing is, I have not fully made the commitment to natural deodorant. You will see that when I show you this next empty, which is my Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant. I've been using this for years and I love it so much. It's expensive, but it's so incredible. Like it smells so good. The packaging feels luxe. Like as much as deodorant can be like an experience, like that's what this is for me. And it makes you smell so good and just like all day long and it's so amazing now i sometimes okay the reason i ever started like wearing natural deodorant at all was because i'm the type of person who likes to shower at night and then put like deodorant on again at night i don't know <laughs> if that's weird and then i figured like why waste my expensive nice deodorant slash why put more like aluminum and chemicals in my body at night when i could just do a natural one at night I know that that's not the way that you're supposed to let your body adapt to the natural ones so long rambly story short I can't really speak to how this works if it's like your sole thing but I can tell you that uh, it's nice it's affordable they sell it at Target good sense sorry for the loud flipping street that I live on it is a little bit like grainy and I don't know why it might be because there's like baking soda in there maybe and like it I don't know so it didn't bother me but it's something to note like it kind of feels weird when you put it on but yeah try it out I don't know that was not helpful at all some body scrubs I love body scrub this is from Bath and Body Works it's the CO Bigel CO Bigelow line Mentha Body Smoothing Body Buffer this is awesome it's so minty fresh like really thick, nice sugar granules, really good at exfoliating, really recommend that. And then this is one of my favorite body scrubs literally of all time. I have a bunch of backups. You will see that I got smart and I cut this open because the problem with these squeezy tube uh, scrubs, like even that mint one has more in there and I just didn't do this. There's so much product still in it. Like you can only squeeze out so much and then it just kind of stops working and you literally have to cut it open to get the product out. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's the Funfetti Body Scrub in the Vanilla Bean Noel scent. This is a scent they carry at Christmas time every year. Now, it was the first time I had ever seen this Funfetti formula. And let me just tell you that this, like nothing that I've ever smelled aside from literal cake icing has smelled as much like icing as this does. So if you like like sweet, sugary, amazing like body care scents, like I really hope they bring this same formula, this same thing out again next year. Um, I, even if they did it in like a tub too, that would be nice because then you wouldn't have to cut open the packaging. But it's a great scent, great product. I have backups. Last body care item, I have just this little guy. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I feel like people talk about this all the time. The hype really is real. It smells so good, really moisturizing. This was just a small one. I totally would buy. 
a big one. Moving into some skincare, I have a couple of packages for like cotton pads. This one is my Shiseido facial cotton. I talk about these a lot. They're really soft. They're really nice. I recommend them. And then this is just like a stupid clear plastic thing. But these were actually cotton pads from Glossier. I had placed my first Glossier order ever and I threw some of those in there and I actually really liked them. They were like soft and nice and I mean I just they were a good little add-on buy so I just wanted to note that. Some sun bum products this is the facial specific SPF and this is just like the body or whatever SPF. Both of these have SPF 50. I absolutely love sun bum like I love it love it love it. This one has that amazing signature like banana smell. I have already repurchased this. I wear this on like my neck and decolletage every day. That banana smell doesn't mess with like my perfume or anything, but it's nice to smell when you apply it. But then the face one has no scent. It's just like a good solid sunscreen. Doesn't break me out. Like love it. Then I have a couple of toners. This one is by Michael Todd Beauty. It's the green, blue green algae antibacterial toner. I have gone through a couple of these. It's been a little bit since I've used this. I'm kind of on this weird journey with toners. Like I just... I just don't know. I'm not like fully sold on any one toner. With that said, I did like this. It was like not too harsh, yet it still felt effective. Like it had some of that antibacterial, like it felt like it was kind of killing any bacteria or whatever. It's nice. It's good. I don't know. I don't have anything amazing to say about it. This guy is from Tarte, which side note, Tarte skincare is actually pretty good. Just so you know, from what I've experienced. So this is the knockout tingling treatment. This I learned about from, is her name Stephanie Nicole? She's a YouTuber who talks, like, her videos are really long. She goes really in-depth about everything. But she recommended this and compared this almost to, like, the Sunday Riley Good Jeans or, like, the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. Like, this is not a serum. It's a toner. But it is an exfoliating toner. So I'm going to tell you right now, it has 10% acid complex and this stings like this is harsh this is like doing a chemical peel so I didn't do this every night I would do it like maybe three times a week and I definitely could feel it working so it would help to like turn over that layer of skin bring out your you know new fresh skin like I have yet to repurchase this but I would like I do like it it, just, it literally hurts though <laughs> so you just be cautious of that okay this was absolute crap I didn't even finish it I, I mean granted I pretty much almost did but I finally was like why are you forcing yourself to finish this this is by Sunday Riley it's the CEO micro dissolve cleansing oil I like Sunday Riley in general um it's like a high-end brand it feels kind of nice and like luxurious to use I like that this had a pump. You know, this is like a cleansing oil to remove makeup. Now, I don't know if I just got an old one. That could be possible, but upon doing a little bit of research, I haven't done a lot, but I want to say this is no longer even like being carried at all. So maybe it really was just like not a good product, but this was supposed to remove makeup every single time I would use this this and then followed up with a cleanser. I would have a crap ton of eye makeup still that needed to be like additionally taken off uh, also this burned the crap out of my eyes like it hurts so bad and it literally says on the back like wipe this amongst like okay what does it say da -da 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 -da. yeah like I like the directions literally say it's safe to use like everywhere and blah 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 yeah like good for eye makeup good for every no false it stings it doesn't work it doesn't smell good like no thank you next and it's not cheap like no 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 now, something that I have repurchased many a time, this is the Kiehl's Blue Herbal Gel Cleanser. This is the old packaging, I'm pretty sure, no, like I know they have reformulated this uh, and repackaged it, and so I have yet to use that, but this is a salicylic acid acne treatment. When I had really problematic skin a few years back, this was my holy grail. Like, I really love this stuff, and I will say that I love Kiehl's in general, and Kiehl's does cleansers right. Like, they know what they are doing. So I would venture to say that the new one is also really good. This was like drying and like, well, okay, drying in all the right ways. Like it would target like any acne or problem areas in good ways without overly drying or stripping your skin. I love it. This is a Wander Beauty little like baggage claim gold eye mask. These are really fun. They're the things you put underneath your eyes when you wake up to help depuff, kind of like, you know, plump up your under eye. Uh, they're fun. They're cool. I mean, I don't know that they like work miracles, but they're a lot of fun. And I like that Wander Beauty brand from what I've experienced. 
This is an old guy that I have here. This is from Supergoop and it's the Forever Young Hand Cream. And it's a hand cream that has SPF 40. Now, okay. I wear sunscreen every day on my face and on my neck and like all that. And really, we should all be wearing sunscreen on our hands every day. And like additionally every time we get in our car so this guy lived in my car and I would try to put it just on the tops of my hands every time like before I would drive away because your hands show signs of aging like so quickly now part of the problem is like it's a whole situation but I go to the bathroom every 2.5 seconds like I have bladder problems like hello <laughs> fun fact of the day so I'm washing my hands all the time all the time because of that I really don't love plant applying hand creams because it just feels so wasteful to me anyway and also like washing your hands that often I'm sure has got to be like thinning out the skin and like whatever I don't know but the point is this is genius I wish that I was like even more consistent with this than I actually like was but like I've not repurchased this but I need to at the very least I feel like people need to just carry around a bottle of sunscreen in their car I don't know like your hands are in the sun directly when you're driving so this was great stuff though yeah super good good brand this is such a stupid review because I really don't have much to say but this is by The Ordinary it's the Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion uh, I finished this up what I will say is that this was very affordable I like the packaging. Now, did this do anything for me? I don't know. I did not notice anything in the short term. I did not notice anything in the long term. I really couldn't tell. Now, is that because I'm not like an expert? Maybe, I don't know. Is that because like, I really don't know. All I know is that it is like a retinol product. And I know that it's like a more subtle retinol product than ones I've used in the past, like the Sunday Riley Luna. And it's, it's, cheaper so it's meant to be more subtle and you know it's not going to be as powerful but I'm sure it like did good stuff for me but I really can't tell now it's so affordable that sure I could repurchase it I just haven't at the moment sorry for such a lackluster like non-review these three are little mini guys and I try not to like include a bunch of like small little things in my empties but i I felt like these three were worth mentioning. This first one is the BioEffect EGF Serum. And I'm pretty sure that stands for something growth factor. This is a really expensive serum. They sell this full size on the Sephora website. And I have heard from like really legit like skincare YouTube channels that growth factor is something that you should be using. Now, do I fully know what it is? No, not really. I know that it has to do with like helping to keep the skin cells on your face like growing and uh, turning over and like keeping fresh youthful skin, youthful skin. But anyway, what I loved about this serum was the consistency. It was thin, but it was also like this oily, like moisturizing, like exquisite oil. It pretty much had no scent. It felt so nice to apply to the skin. I felt like I could see a difference in the morning, like a little bit glowy. I don't know. I really liked it. Like it definitely piqued my interest. Now the full size bottle is $160. So I may or may not purchase it at some point in the future, but I thought it was worth mentioning. And I'd be curious to know if any of you know anything about this and what your thoughts are. Another product, these were all things I got, I think, in, like, a sample bag from, like, Bergdorf Goodman with, like, a beauty purchase I made. So these are all very bougie things. This is by the brand Revive, and it's a foaming cleanser. Now, I am one who, like, thinks that if you're going to spend money on skincare, which is great, like, I think you should, cleanser is probably the area where you can, like, cheapen it up a little bit because cleanser is on your face for the smallest amount of time out of serums, moisturizers, etc. But this was a dang good cleanser. Like I loved the way it smelled. I loved the way it foamed up. I loved the way it made my skin. It like took off any little excess makeup. Like I just really, really loved it. I thought it was worth mentioning, but it's expensive. So that would be like, you know, for when I'm rich and famous, but it is good. Last but not least, I thought this was worth mentioning from the skincare, not last but not least from all this other junk down here. This is the Amore Pacific Time Response Eye Reserve Cream. The reason I thought this was worth mentioning is because this had like a really thick emollient consistency, whatever, it was nice. I honestly didn't find it any different, or not, not any different, but like, I didn't find it even as good as like 
my Kiehl's Creamy Avocado, which is also like a thick emollient texture, but like even more of like a hydrating texture and it seems to like fill things in. But when I went to look this up, this I'm pretty sure was like a $300 eye cream or like maybe more. Maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm not remembering totally right, but it was a very expensive eye cream. And I just thought I would say that for me, like it was not worth it at all. Like it wasn't bad, but it did not work wonders. Like it was just pretty whatever. And I just wanted to make sure that I did my part in saying that. Another thing that was pretty whatever, I talked about this in a Sephora haul update. This is the Coco Floss Floss in Fresh Coconut. Didn't really smell like coconut. It looked really cute, uh, but it was too expensive for just regular floss. This guy is a like a holy grail just because I, I don't know, I don't, I, unless you know of a better different top coat, maybe a cheaper one, this is my favorite. This is by Deborah Littman. This is the Addicted to Speed top coat. Uh, you can see there's a little bit left in there, but that's the crappy thing about nail polish. Like when it gets down to the bottom, it's so goopy and it's just hard to get out. So I've repurchased that. I really like that, but it's not like, it's just like an annoying $20 to have to spend, you know? A little bit of hair care and then makeup and then we'll be done, I promise. This is from Bumble and Bumble, it's the Sunday shampoo. I actually have repurchased this. I really like this. This is like a clarifying shampoo. You can use it like you know, roughly once a week. That's why it's called Sunday Shampoo or any time that you feel like maybe you're on your third or fourth day of hair and you have a lot of product buildup, a lot of dry shampoo, a lot of like oils, whatever it may be. Like when you have a bunch of product in your hair, you can literally feel your scalp be like squeaky when you're doing this, but not in a stripping drying way, just in like a fresh, clean, like like you're giving your hair like a do-over, like pressing the restart button, getting like shedding its grossness and starting fresh for the week. So I really like this stuff. Another product I really like is this. This is by L'Oreal, the Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Conditioner. I go through conditioner much faster than I go through shampoo. So I tend to have just like a random bottle of conditioner in my shower that doesn't have a partner because I typically need extra. So that's what this was and I loved it. Smelled great, worked amazingly, left my hair so soft, so smooth, like love it, love it, would repurchase, want to try the shampoo. Now, a dry shampoo that I did not love was this. This is from Soap and Glory, the Rush Shower Dry Shampoo. It smells really good. It has real cute packaging. It's affordable, but I felt like it didn't do diddly squat and it left white cast. Like, I just, no thanks. Didn't work for me. Okay, we're finally in makeup. This is the home stretch. Bear with me. Uh, first up, I have the Morphe Continuous Mist Makeup Setting Spray. Everyone loves this stuff, and I will agree that it has nice packaging and it has a really nice fine mist, but I didn't think it was all that great. Like, I still prefer MAC Fix Plus or Urban Decay, like any of the Urban Decay ones. I really like the Cover FX ones. Like, I wouldn't not repurchase it, but I just don't think it was that amazing at locking in makeup and or melding together makeup. Like, it pretty much just sprays nicely and then, I don't know. And it's not that cheap. It's like $16, I think. So to me, it's like, eh, I don't know. I think it's overhyped. Personally, probably an unpopular opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just wasn't that amazing to me. But speaking of, here is one of the MAC Fix Pluses. I think this is a coconut scented one. Yeah, this was just a little guy. I really do like these. Now this doesn't do as much like locking into place stuff as like the Urban Decay All Nighter will, but it does like meld together your makeup, get rid of any powders, just refreshes you. If you did your makeup for work and then you stop home before you go out or something for the night, you can just like spray this on to almost like reactivate everything on your face without actually touching up. And they have a bunch of little fun scented ones and I just really like that. Oh, this guy, this is the Smashbox Primer Water. This is also like a little face spray. This was fine. I liked it. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. This I think came in like a Sephora favorites kit because it's like a smaller size. It just added like a little bit of hydration to the face but I mean moisturizer or like a hydrating primer would do that more so than this for me personally. It was just whatever. It was fine. Here's another spray. We're just like talking about sprays but this is the Sephora brand instant dry brush cleaner spray. This is something that you spray on your brush um, and like then you swirl your brush on like a tissue or a paper towel and it gets rid of the product. It's not a deep clean, but again, it's just like an instant dry brush. And I really love this. I've already repurchased it. It's really nice just to like, number one, not let your brushes get too caked up in between deep cleanings. So even if you're not switching colors, 
it's nice just to spray this on your brushes after you use them so they're not being coated up in product for like a week or two until you get around to cleaning them. So yeah, I really like this stuff. Here's a primer worth mentioning. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. It was just a small little guy, but I actually really loved this. I like the, like, even on like a no makeup type day, like you can see that it truly does blur, fills in pores, fills in lines. I think this works better than the Benefit Professional, which I've always really liked. So I wanna get the full size of this. I really like that. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, pretty standard. It's great, full coverage, love it. One of my holy grails, like, great. Now this guy is a L'Oreal mascara. It's the Unlimited Mascara. Um, it has this funny, like, Thing that does that and then the wand looks like that. I liked this mascara but I don't think it was anything amazing. Also, oh I think I just like broke the packaging. This little doodad, I really didn't use that element of it. Now this looked beautiful in conjunction with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara Primer but I have now used that primer with like a couple other mascaras. I'm pretty sure it's just the primer. Like that primer is just really great and works with any mascara. This on its own was just okay. I would give it like a B, maybe a B plus. Like it was okay. It was good, but I don't know. I didn't love it. It wasn't super smudgy, which was nice. Um, so I will give it credit for that. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil in Chocolate. I really like this. It's like the, um, brow wiz except it has like that triangle tip honestly i go back and forth on which one i like better the brow wiz it's like easier for me to get in and fill i have a scar right there if you can see but then this guy like i don't know i honestly love them both so i do recommend it pick it up during like an ulta sale because they typically have either the definer or the wiz on during ulta 21 days of beauty that's when i would recommend getting it. This is a MAC lipstick in the shade called Lady Danger. I really love it. It's actually perfect for summer. It's like that orangey red. It's really rich, matte, gorgeous. It's just old and needs to go. So that's why I'm getting rid of that guy. Another lip product. This is by Zoella Beauty and it's the So Soft Cherry Scented Lip Oil. Now the packaging is so cute, so my aesthetic with like the green and the pink. Um, I like the cherry scent. It's a little medicinal, but it works. And it's just like a nice, soft, hydrating lip oil. Easy just to toss on, even as like a, kind of like a lip gloss, but also just like at night or to hydrate. Now, the problem with Zoella Beauty is I'm pretty sure she's no longer doing it. So I don't even know if you can get this anymore. I do have a backup, but if you can find this, it's great. But I think she stopped. I don't know. And then last but not least, I have a beauty blender. Uh-oh, I just dropped it. There we go. This was a nude one. Um, I, I mean, you know what a beauty blender is. <laughs> My question to you, which I've asked before, is how long do y'all use your beauty blenders? Because I feel like I use mine for too long. But like, they, like, literally, this still could keep going. I, I, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. And I don't know, like... It's probably unsanitary and that is why I'm getting rid of it. It's probably been like a few months, but I just never know how long to use them for. So that's the end of this big long empties. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It would make my whole day. I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.